Okay, Crab Crabby said, and this is how it begins. <laughs> white come over and <laughs> everything. White people are the worst and are parasites. Look at the dumb <laughs> with them. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna read mean tweet, not mean tweets, comments that we've gotten on YouTube in the past year. All right, you wanna go first? I remember this one. Take my advice, dump that Debbie Downer of a wife. Aww, so sad. I said, I replied, well, I love her, so it might be hard to do that. <laughs> okay, this guy said, Deepak Yadav said, you dig your own grave by posting trip from Pakistan on YouTube. Now I'm pretty sure you're not gonna make it well in India to subscribe you. Enjoy your little channel, who cares, goodbye. Aww. Oh, so mean. <laughs> well, I replied, thanks for letting us know, but it's too late now. <laughs> I've already posted them all. Yojo619 in all caps. Thank you, Mohammed, for taking these pieces of shit people away from India. Away from India? Yeah. Oh, he must have thought we'd cross the border. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, this one, I actually have to look up because I didn't know what it meant. It says WMAF. It means white male Asian female, but it's like a derogatory term. I don't see it as derogatory. I mean, Thank you. <laughs> Good observation, buddy. He is white. I am Asian. Yeah. Steve Goo. Oh, oh Steve Goo is like one of our really good friends. Is he? <laughs> no, he but he's like, he just comments on yeah. all our videos. All right. He said, it would be nice if the family members of earthquake victims could have a chance to give you and your wife the ass kicking you both deserve because of how I've explained in my previous post about how people like you who do so much traveling are contributing to earthquakes. I don't know exactly. I haven't researched this. I maybe he's right, works. maybe he's not, but he often says a lot of mean things to us. <laughs> but he watches all our videos, so. Yeah, that's nice. You racist F. I replied, sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Steve Goo says, I remember explaining in the past post about how, how all this fancy traveling many of you people like to do is leading to earthquakes because of all the, uh, all the oil being dug out of the ground to fuel all these cars and planes you travel on but you don't seem to give a crap and you continue all this fancy travel. Lur. Hopefully you and your wife are going to get a severe punishment in the afterlife. Yeah. And Justin said, I remember those comments. <laughs> then Steve Goose said, people like you who enjoy all this traveling should just commit suicide because <laughs> you guys are <laughs> a threat to the safety and well-being of this beautiful planet. I'm so mean. I feel like saying things like that is a threat oh, to then, the safety of okay. people. And then Abdul Karim just commented, Dude, are you serious? <laughs> Steve Goo. Yes, I'm serious. You're all headed to the hellfire in the next life because you people are a bunch of careless consumers that buy, shop, and travel however much you want with no regard to what that is doing to the environment and the mess this could leave future generations in. I mean, he's kind of right, quite honestly. We're not like leisure travelers. Like, we don't just travel for fun. But no, I do see his side of the argument and we should all consume less. Should all recycle like they do here in Korea. We should, we should be doing more of that stuff, so. And it's also really mean to tell people things like you should commit suicide. <laughs> it's a little mean. <laughs> Why people are scum and F the whole world. I wish they would get out of Asia, Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, USA, the Americas, Israel, and anywhere else these parasites are. They need to stay in Europe. The white race is the worst race and spreads diseases, hate, greed, and wars. Crab Crabby said this again. <laughs> that, man, crabby. he does comment a lot. Yeah. I said, that was a bit harsh. Do you mean people that look white or people <laughs> that are Caucasian? And I asked where he was from, but he didn't reply. <laughs> Mr. Kayaker69, stupid millennial c Oh, James Dougherty. I feel like Sounds I know it's familiar, but I don't know. James Dougherty said, the young guy is a typical obnoxious American. And then I replied and said, those guys are so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, Not I, this one well, though. Well, I mean, I'm sure I can be obnoxious sometimes, and I am American, so. A to Z News said, I think dirt ice is better than sucking and licking stupid western. Western. Stupid western. <laughs> that's so graphic. Yeah, that's gross. And gross. Oh, well, should we read another Steve Goo one? Oh my gosh, he writes so much. So Steve Goo says, most of you people who do this constant traveling are usually part of these satanic Freemason Illuminati secret society, <laughs> so go f yourself. <laughs> and Justin said. <laughs> nope, we aren't a part of any group. <laughs> Mohammed Rashil said, I like a real woman. 
you know, hourglass body, fat thin waist, waist probably. So why her? And I said, we clearly have different tastes in women. Hope you find some, <laughs> hope you find someone someday. And he said, my GF has a GF bro. My girlfriend has a girlfriend bro. And I said, your girlfriend has a girlfriend? <laughs> and then he replied, too hard for you to understand. I see. Yeah, I was just trying to clarify. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe his girlfriend has a girlfriend. Oh, this one, Pakistan video. Ruben Morillo said, I don't trust them. They work for ISIS. <laughs> Here's a Kenya one. Jama Moja, please go back to Tired president, we don't need you in Kenya. And then Justin said, Did you watch the video? Why don't you want us in Kenya? And the guy said, The video is good. I watched. We don't need foreigners to tell how good our country is. Your friend your friendship is hypocritical. But then someone commented and they said, ignore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on Bangladesh video. Yeah. You did not visit Bangladesh dumb and I would never that ugly man looking. Wow, that's quite the language. Oh, then someone replied, midget4545. They said, Mohammed Rochelle, the f is wrong with you? <laughs> and then he replied, said, she is ugly. And then, <laughs> so mean. I don't think you're ugly, I think you're so Aww, pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're so good looking. <laughs> their username's my lovely lady, and their comment is, Asian women are such what gets for white men. Ew, ugh. It's <laughs> so gross. Ugh, so gross. Why do people say things like that? D Chima on our proposal video. Why would anyone get married is beyond me. It's like having a live-in prostitute. I would avoid getting married. You want to be forever with one person? No thanks. Just doesn't work for me. And I replied and I was like, I don't feel like a live-in prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of people just don't have never found anyone that works well with them. And I guess that's understandable. I think we were really lucky to find each other because I think a lot of people just aren't compatible and people have thousands of reasons to get married. It's not always love or... It's true. Maybe it's just for money, maybe it's for looks, maybe they, I don't know, trophy wife, trophy husband. Yeah. Dulcinea Gar says, this is on our wedding video from the States. They said, who cares about your wedding? No one but you and your close relatives. Boring people. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Donald Trump would say. And I said, you may be right, sorry you don't like our videos. And then someone else responded for it. Really, thanks to everyone who responds on our behalf, because it is, like, obviously it does affect us a little bit, but, I mean, anyone that's ever, like, responded for us, kind of took our, on, on our behalf, or spoke for us on our behalf, we really appreciate that. It really means so much. I know, it's, it's so, so nice. nice to see those comments. But yeah, they said that was very mean. <laughs> Zyro J. He said, you did not, sh he or she, we don't know, you did not show anything, just boring things about boring house. No life, no nothing, empty hole. Which video is it? This is the video yeah. for Chien's house. Oh, really? I like yeah. that one. Yeah, and then Justin said, sorry you didn't find the house interesting. And then he, she, was like, I'm not talking about the house. I'm talking about you, who made the boring video. You should think about that. When you do something for the public, you need to do that quality. This video is nothing. If children would make that video, would be okay. Don't say sorry, just do something good and you'll not you need to use the word sorry. <laughs> my motivation to do good <laughs> videos. <laughs> and then Justin was like, okay, I will try to make better videos next time. So Thomas Cluso Hubner said, white you're even trolling around in Africa. So tell me where shall I go to escape you white devils? I replied though, I said, there are a lot of places you could go. <laughs> uh, Thomas Cluso Hubner said on one of our Kenya vlogs, leave my land, white man. <laughs> And I said, when do you want me to go? <laughs> I should be gone by June, if that's okay. And then someone else replied, you stop that right now. That is so unkind. We Kenyans do not function like that. You don't attack unless provoked first. I doubt you're Kenyan. You don't have to like everyone, but that doesn't mean you'd be nasty. Treat others like you'd want to be treated. That was nice. Thank you, Africa Love. Appropriate name. And that is an appropriate name. And then Thomas Clouseau Hubner replied, Africa Love, enjoy getting screwed over by the white man again. And then Africa Love replied again and said, No one has said you have to trust them. Heck, you don't even have to interact with them. Have your beliefs, that's your right, but don't be downright nasty without provocation. If someone harms you, by all means, stand up for yourself, no question asked. However, till provoked, you must learn to remain calm. Otherwise, you're turning yourself into whatever it is you hate. Man, Africa loves. It's such a, I know, who is this? That's a good, that's a good comment. That's good life. Good, yeah, advice, good life advice there. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it.
Is it? Yeah. No, we have way more hate comments. Okay, anyway, it's probably long enough. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope this was entertaining a bit. <clears throat> we are in Korea now. We'll be here for three, four months. Yep. We're working, editing some videos for some projects we've been working on the last year. And all right, that's it. Yeah.